Alright, uh, hi, um, my name is John, John McDonald, uh, and uh, I'm going to put on some clown makeup today. We'll start with my Maron Clown White, a big problem which will last me the rest of my life. Got a couple of mirrors around me, so I might look around there. <sighs> Some people use sponge, sponges, to put foundation on, but uh, I kind of like the f feeling of the finger on the face. It rubs into my skin a bit better. So after a week of like screaming at people in a horror house, so my voice is a bit short. But I'm not here for my voice today. Ah! All right, just a bit rough. Just to get the whites around, smooth out a bit later, and then basically this is kind of where I get um, my. My main shape for like the reds that I'm gonna use, which is gonna be around my mouth and around my nose. So we'll put the white around here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I figure there's not many like clown makeup videos. I mean, there's like you know. Pretty clown makeup, but like not many like clown clown makeup, sideshow clown makeup, chiller clown makeup. And uh, in putting my makeup on, I kind of thought to myself, well, if I was a killer clown, you don't have time for like makeup palettes and brushes and all that shit. Look, I use one brush. So, alright. So, anyway, how I shape my mouth goes around like, see where my smile is. Try and keep that dimply thing. Just gonna go rough around there because I use the red to shape it a bit better and then I'll go over with black again to give it more of a uh, detail. All right, that's uh, for the most part. Done. Then we put one beard. It's my last day at the Royal Show today. Like I said, working in a 3D horror maze. Spooking people. Uh, though we don't touch people, we don't touch the scaries. Still a scary experience. No clowns in there! So I always forget like shit at the end. Forget like the last steps. Uh, so I took everything out today. For once. I also lives in my little carry bag. Little makeup bag. Alright. That was good. Yeah, I bet I shake my nose a bit more. Something that I learned from my friend Vroni. 
um, is that uh, you gotta use setting powder to set your foundation. I didn't know that. Uh, and then on YouTube, I also learned that most non-professional makeup people uh, don't actually need to use setting powder. But what they can use is Baby powder. So I put uh, my baby powder into a old hair gel container. The pad that just fits perfectly. What's up, Liam? Morning. Well, did anyone know what happened to the roll? What's up, Tim? I left it in No wonder it smells. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. Oh, There's a Lynx Africa one. Just put some Red Bull in your pits. I leave, no, I left it out here for everyone, the old boats to use. Yeah. So you can rub armpits with each other. Yeah. It's either that or Gooch's, you choose. Clown Daddy, Tim. Hiya, Tim. Oh, wait, come, come, come. Oh, what are we saying? Yo! Just doing a... <laughs> <laughs> Saying hi to the uh, internet somewhere, I guess, where this goes up eventually. All right. And then now, basically, my face is a uh, touch screen, see? I use an oil-based uh, white because uh, I sweat a lot, so the uh, oil base kind of sticks. Let's see, uh, is it oil based? Petroleum. And then for the reds, uh, I also use Marin. Actually, I'm exclusively using Marin today. Um, and I use a water-based one which somehow stays in the red, I don't know why but I also uh, have bought this one here which is I think what they use for like Chinese painting makeup I haven't quite tried it though probably should at some point looks cool anyway alright so white and then red a little bit of shake up then I just dab the little bits of red in the lid for my nose. Takes me about 20 minutes to get this done. I don't know, about halfway through the video almost. Uh, so we'll see. Side mirrors. Get a better view. Uh, yeah. All right. Give her a little bump. Start. One, two, and then that's basically it. Shake the rest of my mouth. Of a 
exaggeration Just in case I forget to put a lipstick on, like at least it still looks reddish, you know? Like I said, I always forget something in my makeup. Alright, there we go. So I got the uh, Marin Clown White, and then I've got this uh, Marin Red Water Soluble. And the last Marin that we're gonna use is a uh, Cream Blend Stick. I don't use the whole stick like this. Uh, before that, let's go wash my hands. Let's look at the white and the red. And, uh, let's have a look a little bit at here. A little makeup room. Clean. Very clean. <laughs> All right, let's go find out. Uh, I don't even know how the tap works, but uh, I thought I'd just take you backstage. <laughs> Good enough for now. Wet the brush. And we're back inside. We've got a fridge this year. Be fancy. Alright. I always get my nose first because it's the most finicky and I kind of feel like I need the most position around my nose. Pointy point, and then I paint. Just a rough line for starts. Start to go out of the line a little bit. Uh, I used to use eyeliner for this as well, which kind of works, but uh, over the day it kind of fades and it becomes less defined. And then I found these uh, kind of China Graph pencils. the paper off it instead of sharpening the pencil but this is all I got left so I stopped using this I to find something else and I ended up using uh, finding this and uh, actually it works really nicely it smudges a little bit but luckily I don't have like you know like I said I don't have like those uh, fancy pretty makeup 
Alright. Time for the smile. Same as before, I kind of uh, just make sure that the corners around my small dimples are what I focus on. Give myself a Fu Manchu. So it's not the cleanest makeup, but also uh, my character doesn't really need it to be so clean in the lines. Again, if I was a serial killer uh, clown, I'm trying to channel my inner Firefly family. bit of like mess is all right I mean you know, most of the time people see me like this anyway and go like, ah! you don't see all the details in there all right and then last well when it comes to like Marin products <laughs> last but definitely not least you might have guessed eyebrow time how to do eyebrows the hardest part to get used to. Five minutes before showtime. Basically one stroke just to get the shape, the rough shape. And then I kind of fatten this by about two or three times in the end by the end of it when I try to even it out but I don't really have to get it fully symmetrical anyway but just to give you the rough shape and then from here you just start kind of adding to it it's the scariest part because this is the part where you fuck up and then you gotta redo the whole the whole eyebrow you know it sucks because then you gotta put the foundation again And then you gotta powder it again and the powder falls onto the rest of the makeup. Oh jeez. This is tricky to do on a camera. Uh, close enough? Ish. Because, uh, yeah, usually at the start of this um, day, I kind of end up touching my face a little bit. And like I said, the black is the one that uh, smudges the most. And because it's so dark, it's the most obvious. Just, uh, eh. They're a bit sad today. They're not normally this sad, but... the last day of the show so I guess I'm a little bit sad all right now uh, before I forget just the last touches three more things uh, and I've already hit the 20 minute mark so whoops all right uh, like this Revlon connect the dots you got these little dotty nibs 
they are really good for dotting got a bit wide today so just make sure I balance it on the other side a little bit wide yeah it's a little bit wide Silky girl, <laughs> I don't know, some cheap eyeliner, whatever. Not that fast about eyeliner. Eyeliner's eyeliner. I got a few in my bag. This just happens to be the one that I took out today. today lipstick again whatever cheap random lipstick you want to use it's fine how do I get black on my nails so smudge something maybe not uh, uh. Mm, there you go killer makeup in 20 minutes uh, gotta just uh, pigtail my hair and then we're ready for the day but oh of course don't forget to wash your brush but first since it's the last day since you stuck around for 20 minutes just take you on a quick tour <laughs> let's go <laughs> coin machines Look at me! <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Dr. Scary 3D Maze of Horror! Can I come on the train ride first? Let's go to the train ride. Look! <laughs> Beware of crazy clouds. <laughs> oh, it's all dark in here. What's going on? What's going on? What's troops? A clouds! Train ride of horror! <laughs> yeah! Little Marge sitting in the corner. Yeah! Some TV going on. The zombies crossing. Oh, hey! What's up, my friend? Alrighty, oh. Tripping over the train lines. Me and me, more me and you. <laughs> All right, and we are out. Trying to come see the maze? 
Let's come see the maze. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Okay, look at us here in the 3D maze. You probably put the camera the other way, but then you won't be surprised at what's in here and all the UV glows. Come see Dr. Scary, come see Dr. Scary, look! Oh, dark, oh, dark. Ah. 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 This way, this way, okay. This way, through the ice house. Ah. Ah. Oh, holy shit, what the fuck? Ah. 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 Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, oh shit, everything's spinning in this room. Thanks for uh, watching my makeup tutorial. Uh, have a great day! <laughs>